All right, guys, we're just going to hop right back into the game scene. Uh, we're actually going to be playing less ads today than average. Trying to keep them just at the end of series instead of every two games. So those who do watch our commercials, thank you very much. We got some selling out we do need to do, though. That first series was awesome, and I'm sure this one will be great, too. But because it was so good, we actually didn't mention the sponsors a single time. And those lovely people are helping us provide such awesome games. So let's get these intros done. Let's get our selling out out of the way because it looks like one of these guys is up to no good. Spawning the top left, we have, of course, the blue Terran, classically great at TVT, Ryung. And in the bottom right, the machine himself. This is Innovation. Widely regarded to, uh, for all you guys that are, that are new to the game or just tuning in from the front page, this guy in the bottom right has like a 70 plus percent win rate against the higher end players in the whole world. So that's pretty damn good. And he's going for some cheese here. Proxy barracks play. Right. Uh, and quick note that Ryung is actually almost already prepped for by building his first depot here. But uh, before we get too far into this, big thank you to the folks who made all this happen. But today's big focus on the sponsor is actually Ting. Each day of the week, each different BTSL will be featuring a different sponsor, so to speak. And today's feature is on Ting. You guys know Ting from the many Ting Opens they've run with us. But if you don't know who they are... You can first off check them out on bttv.ting.com, sign up, get $25 off your first bill, all that good stuff. But they're an American-based phone company. They're really great at saving you money if you don't want to spend a lot on your phone bill each month. And if you're on data, like you're on Wi-Fi, like you're watching Twitch all the time, they might just be perfect for you. So check them out, bttv.ting.com. But with that out of the way, we still love Twitch, Dodger Coffee Co., People Images, and Yord for helping make this tournament possible. More on them later, because, yeah, things are about to ramp up here as Innovation starts building his first Reaper. Yeah, multiple Reapers coming out of these two barracks here. He got the one gas back at home. He's getting the second gas, so he is going to have a factory uh, probably back in the main by the looks of it as the SUVs are going back home here. Uh, Ryong did make it. Yeah, he has made the depot wall and it is finished. So the Reapers actually can't get in the main. They might maybe be able to grenade themselves over the depot, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, the Reapers are just engaging straight up the ramp. Oh, the fact that he got not one, but two shots off of Ryong before he even realized. Big, big devastation when it comes to that Reaper fight. Danger's going through oh! the SCV line, though. Innovation loses his first so Reaper. Sick. That's bad. That's a sick pick off there for Ryung. Normally this Reaper has a brother in arms to be able to double DPS these SCVs down and take those Reaper fights. But right now, that's a little bit tougher now for Innovation. It gives Ryung breathing space to get that Hellion out, which is going to help him out a ton against this proxy. Uh, numbers are everything when it comes to these Reaper fights. Whether it's the first shot or the amount of Reapers you have, Hellion's going to help as well. Gets a good shot oh off of that Reaper. God. Should be able to catch this other one. Did innovation Clean. may have already been shut down. He's killed three SCVs and Ryung has lost none of his units. What a clean hold here for Ryung so far. I think you said that backwards, by the way. He's lost three Reapers. Oh. He'll probably lose three SCVs, though, no, as, I, I, as Ryung goes across the map. I meant, I, I meant to say that Ryung has held this clean. Did I not say that? Yeah, but you said he killed, like, three SCVs. Never mind, doesn't oh. matter. Because you're right, he held it clean. It could not have gone better. He's... There's no Reaper pressure on the other side of the field whatsoever. So he's able to take the fight here. And Innovation's trying to get a Cyclone out, which has a long build time. So his SCVs are quite naked. Mm. A lot of splash damage from that one Hellion. Makes these Reapers suddenly need one last shot for each of the SCVs, Maynard. Mm. Oh, man. He's killed so many GG. SCVs. Too many SCVs. GG. Ryan takes the first game. Can't believe the innovation lost Rifkin. Neither can I. Good response. Well, I just... I'm actually... What I can't believe, in all seriousness, is just how well Ryung handled that. Especially when you consider the first Reaper should have snowballed in favor of innovation, getting those two extra shots off on Ryung's first Reaper. That should have gone so much better for innovation. Yeah. Man, I can't believe how good that early game defense was. Uh, I wish my my defenses looked that good against the proxies. All right, yeah, they're doing black pink, but I'm trying to get hosts so I can do game heart for this. All good. All right, black pink. Yeah, uh, game. I mean, I love. First off, I love that these guys are so gung ho to get going. Um, but yeah, black pink coming up next but game heart adds a lot of cool features like the graphs which i hope you guys enjoy i try to push them on the stream not too much but 
Uh, I think they help recap things really nicely. Plus, you get to see the worker kills, the upgrades, all those things, like what's building out of the buildings. Just a nice little viewer bonus. All right, we're running around. But we actually do have an intro for this one locked and loaded. I know that these guys are real gung-ho to play, so just wait for they're ready and we'll just hop right into it. Oh, all right. They're ready. See you guys on Black Pink. Welcome back, folks. Game number two kicking off. Spot here in the bottom left side. We got Blue Terran up 1 0, Ryung. Beautiful hole in the top right here. This is innovation. What innovation did was kind of risky. I mean, anytime you're playing StarCraft 2, a proxy could go either way either terribly well or terribly bad. Just one of the few times it goes terribly bad. Unfortunately, law of averages didn't work out here for innovation this time. Yeah, there's something that I can't remember who said it. It may have even been you, but StarCraft 2 is one of those games where it's really hard to look good when you lose. And um, the innovation did not look good in game one because of how, how hard he got held in that proxy. And then everything snowballed out of control, so it looked like he was just taking beating after beating after beating. That's not uncommon in StarCraft 2, no matter how good the player is. Innovation is... Even though people are saying, you know, he's in a slump, he's struggling, he's out of GSL, he's not looking so solid in his online tournaments. Uh, he is still that guy that you know and love, that solid mechanical god. He is still that person that is still there. It's just that uh, occasionally bad streaks happen. There's, there's an extra element to this too. And it's not just that it's TVT, but it's specifically TVT versus Ryung. I mean, Ryung is not an all-star player who's winning GSLs anytime soon. I don't want to oversell him. But if there's two things Ryung's been good at in his career, one of them is being friends with innovation. The second is being good at TVT. Combine those two things, I'm not surprised that he's 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 doing this the way he's like, I don't know that he would necessarily build this first depot here against someone like Gumiho. But knowing what innovation's possibly capable of makes a lot of sense. It just happened in game one. He got metagamed from the first depot. Yeah, Ryong's been really good at TVT for a very long time. I'd say it's easily his best matchup. Also, TVT hasn't changed a whole lot, apart from the fact that the Raven's gone in and out of the matchup a little bit. It is still that, that you know, do you go mech, do you go marine tank uh, kind of game. And the opening meta is still quite quite regular and quite the same from when Ryong's TVT days were in chance. So with the two Reaper and the Hellion opening, still quite common. Ooh, oh, that base. Lordy. That's one of those things that gets our attention like nothing else. Kurgison, thank you for the $30 holler, my dude. This is eat, eat, eat. Then go back to casting. Dude, man, <laughs> 15 bucks. That's going to get us some good, good subway. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's 30 bucks still. Dude, 15 each. It's going to be nice. $15 in Australia. That's a, that's American money, I assume. So $15 yeah. American in Australia. I could, I could get a foot long and three cookies and a drink. And as a Canadian, I can tell you that combination comes to twelve fifty seven because I've gotten that so many times. I know the price, <laughs> which is the same price in Australia, dude. The uh, the the Canadian dollar is actually very very similar to the Australian dollar, so we can we can talk Bro. shop. It's very, very easy. <laughs> <laughs> we can live like kings off that thirty dollar donation. So thank you, Kurgis. <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, I remember. I remember when I was in Montreal, like I I was doing you know a currency conversion on my phone. Oh my, Canada costs the same as Australia. This is great. Yeah, we're both in the same <laughs> boat. See, so that Reaper Hellion opening I was, I was talking about is here for innovation. Ryong's going for a different option though. He went for the, the, the Cyclone. And this is something well, that's happening in the TVT meta. We are having the Shoebox fight uh, slugfest happening here for, uh, for both players in this game. Yeah, Cyclone, it's interesting because uh, go back to a point you said before, as far as like TVT changing its meta and all these other things, I don't love that Cyclones really overtook like what everyone had to do. It's not even what you wanted to do, but we just learned that Cyclones were so good you couldn't not do it. But what's cool for me in this matchup is as good as we talk about for Ryung and his TVT, Innovation, true to his name, is the guy who's been innovating, right? When it was Ravens, he was the first one to try going for a second Raven and then a third Raven, and it was working. The same thing for Cyclones. While everyone was still getting into this awkwardness of like how many Cyclones they open with, Innovation was always pushing it for a little bit more. So I'm not going to say he's more well-versed. Maybe Ryung's actually better at it now than Innovation is. But Innovation was one mm. of the first guys doing these things, so he's got a lot of experience with it. Yeah. It's funny that his name's Innovation because people meme that, you know, his name is... But oh, there is times when he is. Oh. Good old just, connections. Just go yeah, go again. Sorry, what? 
I, I was just saying that considering innovation's name is innovation, uh, he's never like been innovative, but there are times when he is. Ooh, that Raven looks cool, by the way, that brand new skin. We got the Interference Matrix canceling out one of the Cyclones, but it doesn't look like it's enough. Bunker still goes down. Man, that lasts a long time. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of lockdown there from that Raven. The Cyclone's doing a bit of damage, but the tank's going to be a little bit tough to break. Mm, SCVs have to be pulled into this too. That tank will go down in seconds if the Cyclones get on top of it. Kind of like what we're seeing now. Pulse around on the Cyclone, though, is going to kill it. The SCVs will hold at the end of the day, even repairing the tank in a clutch move out of it if, or out of Ryung. Yeah, these Reapers are very annoying, though. They're going to get a little bit more damage in the... But the Marines are on the chase, and I think the wall is up, so they can't escape. Oh, no, there's a little gap. Yeah, he had, a, he had a Cyclone setting here earlier is what it was. But uh, third CCs are not too far off from one another. Innovation definitely gets ahead in terms of economy. Faster CC to the base, faster orbital done. But not by a whole hell of a lot. We'll see if this really hurts Ryung or not. Yeah, it's stabilizing a little bit here. I don't know, I feel it's Raven. Uh, it just looks like he has a bad paint job. Yeah. Oh, that's that's Mirror Marauder Raven right there. Actually, the, uh, I like how it barrel rolls. <laughs> Do a barrel. I just need to have that like sound bite locked and loaded. Uh, so it is Mac, by the way, for everyone who is not paying attention to the production tab. It's Mac and Mac and Mac is more Mac. Factories on this side, factories on that side. Blue Flame actually starting off for innovation can be a really big deal if cool. Ryung goes Hellions. If he doesn't, then it's just going to really affect the SCVs. Yeah. Also, innovation, you know, might be assuming that he's going into marine tank because uh, Hellions with blue flame are very, very good against raw marines. Obviously, Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. double liberator. Yeah, and there's a big problem right now where there's no anti-air for them because Ryung actually lost what I think made like what one cyclone, two cyclones. Oh, forget that. He's losing a lot for these Hellions too, but he doesn't have anything to shoot those liberators out of the sky. Yeah, he's just got a reactor on that starport now, starting his first two Vikings. Two Liberators already here in the Ugh. reaction from Ryung! 14, 16, 18, 20 SCVs! Oh my oh god. Oh my god. I feel like Would have been 22 I, if he left the Liberators there. I feel like the count from Sesame Street. I'm like, 22 SCVs! Ah, ah, ah! Yeah. Well, auto turrets in a pinch, did not do too bad of a job. Picking off one, now the Vikings pop, and this suddenly doesn't look so apocalyptic for Ryung, but he's still down almost, tw well, he's down 20-something <laughs> workers at the end of this. It's it's pretty apocalyptic. <laughs> Being down 20 workers in a mirror match when the guy has three bases and you have three bases. Yeah, I mean, if innovation takes a, it takes a bad fight and overextends, certainly Ryung can come back. At the moment, it's not looking super great for Ryung. Yeah, shout out to the Raven, though. Seriously, save this game. This could have been so much worse. Yes. Yeah. Pre-patch Raven wouldn't have done shit. Yeah, could have put a repair drone down and done nothing. It's about yeah. it. Then I drop a repair drone, guys. Here we go. Oh, these Hellbats look so beefy, though. I love it. I love it, love it. But yeah. Hellbats, unfortunately, not going to be that big of a deal. It's all about these tanks. Oh, he's going to lose the Raven, unfortunately. Had a lot of energy when it went down. Now we had a Hellbat on Hellbat fight there. These tanks of innovation are putting in work, Ooh. and he has an up. Okay, doesn't lose a lot, but losing a lot of mining. This is so bad for Ryan. In fact, I, I'm going to show the income graph, but I'm really scared to do it, guys, because... Yeah, it's, it's not going to be good. It's all innovation. It's just... <laughs> there's not even a, a blue whole lot blue. of red. There's not even, like, a moment here where you're like, okay, Mules brought it back. No, it's still just red, red, and more red. These tanks in the high ground are actually doing a lot of damage before they go down as well, softening up that armory of Ryung. Uh, equal army count and defender's advantage usually goes all right for Terran, but these Hellions keep fighting an opening and they're in the natural again. Fortunately, some Cyclones just popped out. It's one of those things where you just gotta wonder, like, would a depot wall be worth it? I mean, you risk losing the depots, <laughs> but at the same time, maybe you don't lose 100 SCVs. Yeah, see, the thing is, in TVT, you can wall off with depots, but then when there's a siege push, you lose all your supply cap, but... You know, it's a it's a funny it's a funny choice. Oh, innovation's already sieged up. Rip, rip, GG. GG. Well, we got another ace match in our hands, Maynard. Things are tied up one one. Let's go to game number can't three. Believe that, I can't believe Rung lost that game. He's so good at TVT, Rifkin. How did he lose?
man i got twitch chat i don't need twitch chat the caster okay? <laughs> <laughs> i'm representing twitch chat here in this commentary Right, we'll see what the last map is here in just a moment. Uh, meanwhile, by the way, Deer has advanced to the semifinals, so the winner of this will play Deer. Bottom side of the bracket, as we saw earlier, True took out Rogue, so he's waiting to fight against either Gumiho or Linok. Uh, some pretty cool matches, but reminding everybody that regardless of actual placement first versus second, top two players are the ones that qualify in advance. So of, the, of these remaining players at the moment, it's already looking like some pretty good first qualifiers. Yeah, man. It's going to be a good tournament. I'm already, I'm already excited about the game, but we got a lot of way to go, guys, with a bunch of qualifiers. All right, innovation. We got Ryung. I'm actually going to just while we get the setup, call you back on Discord just to be safe. Okay. And just one second, guys. I'm going to get TTV in here, too. Can't forget about him. Oops. There we go. I am reconnected. Welcome back. Uh, so real quick, I know we've had a lot of subs, guys, and I'm so sorry that we can't do as many shoutouts. Uh, oh, need you in the lobby, my friend, uh, as we normally oh. do. But I will say really quick, if you are subbed to the channel, you can look bloody forward to the replay packs of today coming out later. You are only going to get these replays if you're subbed to Base Trade TV. And so far, of the two series we've cast, you're going to want them. <laughs> yeah. Trailing, by the way, 33 months in a row. Thank you very much. Gonna sneak that in there before we get into game number two, three, brother. Yeah, there's no intro for this. We're just gonna hop in right to that load screen. It is one of the new maps, Acid Plant. Uh, quick update on that note, guys. I am working on the map intros, but uh, unfortunately, instead of being productive with a week and a half off, I chose to play a lot of VR chat. So they are not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? And everyone's got their vices. Some people have hand tie, some people have uh, hookers, some people have VR chat. It's whatever you, whatever you need. I, I absolutely love VR chat, man. This, uh, we'll talk about that later, though. Uh, it's tied up one one. If you're just tuning in, you've missed out on an amazing series between these two. TVT normally looks pretty janky and boring. This one's been pretty exciting. And in the top left, it is the blue Terran Ryung. And in the bottom right, winning game number two, this is innovation. I also Doing want to quickly... Right moves. Oh, well, I want to point out, by the way, this is so important to the way the series has gone. There's no actual second ramp on Acid Plant, no secret back door for the Reaper. So, Ryang has actually put his depot in a normal position for once. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you're seeing, uh, if you guys ever watch these high-level games, these new maps, whenever, or even the older maps like Catalyst, you see any of these pro gamers, whether they're Terran or Protoss, they'll be usually dropping their first structure down there on the Reaper, Reaper ramp. They just don't want to have to deal with it. I do wonder, though, um, on that topic, how deep Reapers will go in this. The fact that Ryung's scouting with the SCV might tell me that he doesn't want to have to go too deep if he doesn't have to. One of the big things he's looking for is not a faster CC. I mean, Terran only has so many openings they can go for, but more about like the gas timing. So get in here, he'll probably even click the refinery, see how fast this was taken, or be satisfied blocking the CC. Forget what I said. Yeah, trying to go for it. Uh, innovations dropping that off center. Uh, obviously, Terran structures, well, it's not obvious to people that don't he play StarCraft, but can be lifted and placed in the right spot when it's done. I was saying, it's one thing to tilt innovation and put him slightly off kilter and move the CC by like a crit point, but he almost got the SCV too. That would have been so frustrating. Almost. Yeah, he almost got it, which more importantly means that he didn't get it, so no damage is done just yet. Oop. Uh, Reaper fight in the middle. Reaper. With that SCV coming back in for an auto attack, and shift this because innovation is going to win the it. fight. Citizen's arrest will not be made today. Sorry, Rio. Nah. Yeah, that SCV is just looking to try and be useful. Maybe it should go back to the mineral line. Oh, Ooh. that Marine nearly kills that Reaper. <gasps> the SCV, imagine if it was here. It could just A move and hit it. <laughs> it comes from the behind the smoke. I hope this thing actually kills the SCV built in the command center. I don't know if there's enough time. The CC is so close to finishing, but it'd be so uh, dirty. I don't think so. Maybe if he beelined that SCV, he might have been able to get it, but I think the, uh, the command center finishes now. Yeah. Well... These two Reaper is also not going to be afforded the same opportunity, but Ryung has nothing in the main to fight with right now. He's got to buy a little bit of time by pulling the SCVs. Not something you ever want to have to do. 
This is oh, how. This is. Oh, that's what he need help with the surround. Hit a base yeah, with the assist. Yeah, Reaper. Very nice there. Getting the Reaper is pretty fantastic. I mean, there is still one alive. Losing the Reaper War in TVT, like losing a first Reaper to the other guy's Reaper, is actually Ooh. devastating a lot of the time. You're going to lose a good chunk of workers. Ryong loses five. This really could have been more like eight or nine, though, had that SCV surround not happened. Had those Reapers had the freedom to kite, because it took so long for Ryong to get his units out. I, saw, I, I love that moment, though. I've had that happen to me several times. I'm like, yes, I've got this. I throw the grenade down, and I bounce the Zerglings over my wall. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Touche. Well, Cyclone well, to Cyclone. We're, yep, as I say, we're at that point of the TVT where uh, the shoeboxes are on the way. What's that classic thing they say at funerals? Like, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, yeah, ashes cyclone to, ashes, dust to, dust to cyclone. Dust. Cyclone to cyclone. Dearly beloved, gathered here today to watch Cyclones yeah. fight Cyclones. There, there's a lot of things to be said about the actual Cyclone versus Cyclone dynamic, chasing, fighting, but I still actually got to give a shout out to Demuslim, because while the Koreans have done a lot of really cool things, Demuslim's the only guy I've ever seen use his Hellions to kind of run forward and screw with the pathing of the Cyclones, so Cyclones chasing could actually hit them. Like, there's a lot of cool, very small dynamics when it comes to these units. They're very otherwise bland. Like a Cyclone attacking a Cyclone, they will always kill each other at the exact same time at the end of their fight, no matter what. There's no micro yeah. you can do like Reapers. So it's really cool when you see somebody actually find a way to dynamically influence such a bland and boring unit. Yeah, ever since the first introduction of the Cyclone, they've always felt to me like a slightly better Warhound. Mm, I would actually wonder how that would measure up, like, that alternate universe where Warhounds had actually stayed in the game. Oh, Warhounds were just amazing at every single, like, they, would, they, could, they just filled every single niche. I just, I just think of every time we've seen the Cyclone changed through its 40 balance changes. <laughs> Whereas they're mm, like, Warhounds? Redefine. No, we're not even gonna give them a chance. Get them out of here! <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of weird, huh? They've never, they, they didn't really give the Warhound the opening. I think that the, the, the weirdest thing was that they said that the Warhound didn't fit Mech because it was too fast, too mobile, and, uh, and Mech was meant to be slow and steady. And then they made the Cyclone, which is mobile. So. Used to be very tanky. Used to be. Uh, this fight will not go off for Young, so he is best off running away. Uh, he might be able to trade a couple blows with the Marines and the Cyclones, uh, taking shots for the Cyclones, but... Uh, it's a numbers game when it comes down to it, guys. More Cyclones wins. 6 to 8, 8 to 10. Like, it'll go back and forth like this. Yeah, uh, concaves matter. Micro matters as well. You're pull, pulling the hurt Cyclones back. Uh, U-Thermal's been really impressive with Cyclone Micro and that sort of thing. You don't think Cyclone Micro, micro Dude, exists? It absolutely does. I think it was U-Thermal who actually brought the, the anti-armor missile out. And we saw Cyclones yes. just go yes. ham with that, right? Yeah, insane. that's right. We cast that together. That, I think it was you thermal against. Uh, oh God, it was against um, someone impressive. I think, maybe. No. Oh, I don't recall who it was yeah. either. Off the top of my head, I just remember how badly it shreked them. Yeah, it's really good Korean Terran. Donkey. Uh, this attack is a little bit awkward, but with the tank out, Ryung should be able to take a better fight. Tanks actually yes. against cyclones without cover, not so good. But when you've got your own cyclones to cover it, way better. If I, if I feel it was Innovation who actually had this down pat. He was the guy who would go quicker to tanks and do that Liberator swap that is so common in Cyclone mm -hmm. vs. Cyclone, but it's Ryung who's actually doing that this game. My fear is that he's doing yep. it very quickly though, so this could hurt later when he doesn't have a lot to back this up, but for now it's okay. Yeah, there's a window here where if you choose to stop making Cyclones, the other guy's going to have a much better army than you are. But when you get the tank count up and when you get those other units out, you can take these Cyclones out no problem. Always oh, giving up a lot of ground. That tank does go down. Oh, all these hurt Cyclones are still alive for innovation and they have an opening here in the natural. Mm -hmm. The snowball, though. It's a little too real. Yeah. Tanks get a couple of shots. We'll execute so many of these Cyclones, though. A lot of them in one shot range, but not all enough. Oh, the Lifted! Oh, nice scan out of innovation. Takes out the tank on the high ground. Ryung's almost out of a hope at this point. Yeah, this transition from Cyclones into other units from Ryung may have cost him the game here. And it certainly looks like he may have just... Oh, oh, yeah, that's so low. A right click from one Cyclone kills that, but it's too much anyway. GG. Innovation 2-1. Nice. This was an innovation to the semifinals, which is a qualification match.
So this is no different in terms of, like it's still best of three, nothing too crazy from that, but this will determine whether Innovation or Deer qualify into season one of the BTSL. This is the very first season, so there's no invites, there's no past season seating. This is all fresh, brand new, and for the first time ever. That being said, uh, other side of the bracket's still playing out, so I guess we'll do Innovation versus Deer as our first match. Nice. Um, I guess we'll go to commercial break, guys. Your camera's frozen, by the way. I was going to say, oh, well, I hope it's on a good face. You're kind of doing I mean, like a sexy, like arm behind your head. Oh, there we go. It's fixed now. Yeah. But sorry, right. you're saying before we do break. I was just about to say that that's actually kind of hard to call. Who's going to win that deer and in innovation? I think that's actually quite close. If it was last patch, I'd say deer without a second doubt. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot closer now with that stalker change. Uh, but guys, we'll be back in two minutes. We always take just two minute breaks. We keep it responsible, all that good stuff. I hope you guys will stay tuned to watch. But if you are going to take off, take care. But just so you guys know what's coming up next, we got two best of threes, two qualification matches, and then a seeding match. So three games or three series in total. We'll be back soon.